Greetings, critical viewers. This is a new playthrough. It's a 1994 horror point and click adventure game called Dark Seed, and I've actually never played it, um, although I've always wanted to. If you were a fan of my I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream playthrough, or The Cat Lady, or Downfall, then you'll probably enjoy this game, I'm guessing. I've only played the first minute and a half or so because I was testing my recording uh, settings. It's kind of hard to record these older games, but um, there's quite a bit of information, background information in the manual that they don't really expound upon in the first cutscene, so I'll fill you guys in. After a horrifying nightmare, Mike Dawson awakens to the first day in his new house. Now you might be wondering, his new house, we have no context for any of this, what is going on? Well, according to the story in the manual, um, Mike Dawson... That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. Get it? Monster headache? Alright, so, um... <laughs> Yeah, Mike Dawson, oh, killing me. yeah, if you don't get him painkillers immediately, he complains the entire time. So, let's go do that real quick. This is the only thing I've done so far, by the way. Alright, while he's taking those painkillers and washing his hands, um, and getting water, and all that fun stuff, um, Mike Dawson, our hero, is, uh, well, he's... In the story, he's a partner of a San Francisco ad agency, and he bought this old Victorian house in uh, a small town because he is taking a year-long sabbatical to write a novel, because he's always wanted to be a writer. That's about as much as I can give you. The thing is, though, it was really shady how he got the uh, house. And the agent never showed up to give him a tour, and he got it for a really cheap price, and they seemed eager to get rid of it. And so that's where we are. And then he decided to take a nap while he was waiting for the agent, and he had a dream that an alien was being inserted into his forehead. So, there you have it. A slightly worn old-fashioned bathroom. You're all caught up with what I know. That's the hot water heater gurgling. Oh, really? An old-fashioned shower stall. Now, there, there are a couple things you can do. You've got an inventory with money in it. Apparently, or I think you okay. You can you can take it. That's that's weird um, You can either touch things or you can inquire about them and I think they change to an exclamation point when it's something noteworthy, so I Look great Then again the mirror is dirty. Oh my god. We're, we're gonna have a really tough time with you Mike All right, let's see if we can take a shower or something All right, cool now, I've heard that this game is insanely difficult, so, uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish it, but I... These towels have an illegible monogram on them. I'm going to, uh, give it my best shot. Touch the towels. Do it. I'm already dry. No, that's not the point. Check out the monogram. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's move on, shall we? Um, this dilapidated room gives me the chills. Must be the cold draft. Must be. That must be what it is. What's this? A trench coat. Let me look at it. Here's an old trench coat. I wouldn't have caught dead in that. Oh, that's probably how you're gonna die, Mike. Mike's pretty derpy so far, but I kind of was told that this before I started. Been slept on in years. Okay. You feel under the bed and find nothing. All right. Well, um, Mike Dawson is not only the name of the main character, but also the those wooden planks creak a lot. The junior producer for this game. Um, one of the I think uh, three dudes who wanted to uh, start making it. So, and this game does feature. The to this house must have seen countless guests come and go, but it's just me now. I never know when you're gonna talk, Mike. Jeez. Um, this game does feature the art of H.R. Geiger, who worked on the Alien movies, so there's gonna be a lot of cool art. I think that- oh god. 
pick up a package. Already? Oh, that's not creepy at all. I can't interact with it at all. Oh. Well, that's pleasant. Mike, maybe you're going crazy. <laughs> what the hell was that? What, what was that? <laughs> All right, alien baby package. No reaction? You have no reaction to that? Where's the package? Where'd you put it? What just happened? He's not affected at all. <laughs> okay, well, hey, it's that eye thing. Same one right, is right there. Um, let's see if we can, oh. What happened? Oh, this is the save screen. <laughs> There's a little bit of H.R. Geiger's art. Enter name to same game as John. I did it. Oh my god, let's see what other options are before we move on. It's good to get the settings out of the way and stuff. Oh. No, I want, I want there to be sounds. Resume. Can we have sounds? Thank you. I mean, the music in here is kind of annoying, but... What happened to the baby package? These leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. So because... The books are both leather-bound. Leather they must be the same. All right, what is what is this thing? Let's look at it first. Oh, this is a map, I guess. All right, so where are we right now? We are in, where is library? <laughs> secret passage? There's a secret passage? It's five, okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're on the first floor. So we are in... What? We're in the study. Okay. This is difficult to... Okay, so there's a third floor, too. I think I saw a ladder to that as I was walking down the stairs. Where did we start out? This is difficult to read. Okay, bedroom 10. That's where we woke up. And then I walked into the bathroom. Okay, and then eight is another bed. Well, wait. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. I see. All right. And then there's a secret passage on that one, too. There's two secret passages. Well, how are you supposed to access those? All right. All right, thanks. How do you get out of here? All right. Thanks for the <laughs> whatever. The walls seem hollow here. Oh, well. By all means, let's let's get inside there. You push on a protruding book and open a secret door. All right then, let's go inside. This secret room is dark and damp. Yeah, this is a pretty weird secret room. Um. These large boulders seem solid and immovable. Okay. <laughs> what is this? This is a ladder. You see the ladder, okay. Let's just go up it then. Or just halfway up, that's fine too. What is this? It's a rope. A heavy twine rope. Oh, let's pick it up. He sounds so excited about everything that happens. Can I save? Oh wow, it takes a long time to save. But you I mean, you're supposed to save often. Uh, yes. <laughs> wow, it, yeah, it takes a long time to save, but I mean, with these older point and clicks, like, you have to save often. Um, I mean, if my King's Quest experience was any training for me, um, which that's one of the only older point and clicks I've played, actually. Um, I mean, I have no mouth and I must scream was pretty easy, if you ask me. Look under the bed. What was that? You feel under the bed and find only dust. Wait. The phone ringing? Is that what that was? Here is the telephone. Wow, thanks, Mike. Very insightful. I can't think of anyone I want to call right now. Fine then. Don't call anybody. 
So what's that sound? I think that's just the sound messing up. <laughs> okay. Wait, go. Go in here. I think this just leads back to the stairs. Yeah, it does. Alright, we can go up there in a second. Actually, let's go up there right now, because... We've already... Gone through the secret passage. And we found the map. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some of these windows need to have the glass replaced. Yeah, this is a big problem, isn't it? What's this chest right here? This trunk is locked with a rusty padlock. A rusty padlock, you say? If only we had a bottle of acid. Open it. No use trying, it's really tight. Maybe you're just a wuss, Mike. Ever think of that? Maybe you're just An old weak. Newspaper. An old newspaper. I've already read this paper. How can you tell just by looking at the... Okay. An old deflated soccer ball. What's in here? An old empty steamer trunk. Why do, why do you say it like it's an exciting thing? Nothing in here. Uh, can I see? Can you prove it, Mike? I'd like you to prove that there's nothing in there. Here's an old pair of wooden skis that need refinishing. Man, he's a critic, isn't he? Everything needs to be <laughs> touched up or... All right, so I don't see any more exclamation points. Let's see. Can I go? Can I go out here? Is that is that a thing? Can you go? Well, the but the uh, the map said that I I could go out this way. Oh, is the is it in the way? Do I have to push it? Yeah. It moves slightly. Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're kidding me! I had to press it three times for it to move out of the way. Wow. What a tremendous view of the town from up here. But the wooden railing looks as though it has seen better days. Oh, that is that is definitely a hint that you can fall to your death from here. So I am going to go ahead and save. Why do I have to? Why can't you just show? Y yes. Thank you. You're very helpful. All right, now. What is this? Let's check it out. That's a gargoyle. One of those mythical creatures used to keep demons at bay. How very educational. This is a wooden railing. Uh, thank you. Thank you for telling me things that I know. Touch it. Better be careful, it doesn't look too steady. Yeah, push on it really hard, Mike. Come on, Mike. Be a man. All right, fine. Well, there's, there's, I don't think I can use rope. Why don't I use rope? Let's do it. The railing doesn't seem sturdy enough for that. Oh, you, you mean to uh, rappel down with a twine rope? Yeah, I don't think so either. Let's get out of here. All right, so. There's just boring things up here. I guess I should look for some sort of crowbar or a shovel or something to get into that trunk because I feel like that is the key to our progress. Like I said, I've never used this, or I, I've never played this game before. Um, but just guessing. All right, we haven't gone to the right yet. So let's go ahead and go that way. There's nothing of interest in this room from what I can tell. No exclamation marks anyway. That's a chilly draft blowing through this decrepit old living room. Really? There's a piece of paper taped to the mirror. We'll, we'll take it off, man. Why is it there? Oh, no. Mr. Dawson, we moved the mirror here from the garage as directed. But notice that a piece is cracked off from the corner. We didn't do it. Really? We'll let you know it if it turns up. Sincerely, Timothy. Am I supposed to know you, Timothy? Why are we on a first name basis? Who do you represent? You don't represent any moving company? You're just Timothy the Mover? An old Victorian chair. Is that an ashtray? Can't see. Alright, so I don't know why that is significant. Maybe we can sit in it. The varnish is rough. The cushion is tough. <laughs> you poet, you. Be still, my beating heart. An old oak table. Well, what is this? Is there a thing there? Take it. I want you to 
The varnish is still smooth. Man, he's very good at describing surfaces, isn't he? Okay, that's the same. Check out the clock. This grandfather clock reverberates an ancient, endless tempo. There appears to be a plaque inside, but I can't make out what it says. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Why don't you open it up? Open it, Mike. Mike! The clock casing is locked for some reason. Man, does it, does, would, it add, would it be too much to ask for you to punch this stuff? What is this disturbing work of art over here? A masterpiece of the macabre. Its eyes follow me relentlessly. <laughs> Relentless, is it? Okay. Um, what about these things? It looks like alien. This picture is very alien. -y. Okay, that's a that's a that's an homage to alien right there. It has to be. More dust on my hands. Oh, uh, poor Mike. Touch the painting. Oh, more dust. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that your precious hands were to remain dust-free. Let's leave. Man, freaking Princess Mike over here. I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. Sir, case in point. Jeez. Okay, what's this? There's an oven over here. This stove is hissing, and there's a faint smell of gas here. I bet the pilot light is out. Oh, a telltale sign of the pilot light being out. Look. The pilot flame is out. Ooh, just as we suspected. What do we do about it? Do you want to give it some money? Use the rope. <laughs> I can't use the stove until I light the pilot. Oh, we need to find a lighter. Is that what you're telling me? You could tell me these things. We're friends, you know. You can tell me things. Are old and stained. Is that you don't want to look inside them? You don't want to look not not any of them. Not none of them. You don't want to look inside any of them. Look inside the fridge. The refrigerator doesn't seem to be running. A strange odor seems to be coming from inside. Oh god. The door is stuck. I wouldn't want to see the food in here anyway. Everything's stuck, everything's locked. Typical freaking horror game. All right, check out the sink. The sound of water dripping on that rusty old sink reminds me of how fast time is passing. That, you put a whole lot of connotation onto that that is not there. But all right. What's in here? Hello? Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. P what? Maybe he just is a wine enthusiast. You don't have to jump to the conclusion that he's an alcoholic. You presumptuous little... Oui, fousse, chanoc, contre, 1961. Ah, uh, not my cup of tea. What? What? How are you a wine connoisseur? I guess you do work in advertising. These are empty red wine barrels. Oh, they're empty, are they? Let's take a look. They feel sticky with dried wine. Oh, your poor hands. I'm just getting them all messed up, aren't I? You don't want to take a bottle of wine? Just take, it's yours now. What would I want with an empty bottle? I don't know, why would, why don't you want to take it, take it? Uh, why do I have to convince you to take an item? That's so annoying. Okay, um, we've looked at those, we looked at the bottles, and he's, yeah, he's getting all pretentious about it. He won't take them. Everything he touches is he's like, my hands are dusty, my hands are sticky, my hands, uh. Okay, well, in that case, I don't really know where to go. Um, I haven't seen anything to pick up, but then again, I haven't... Uh... I haven't, I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, I know, there's an old draft that probably means that there's like a friggin' <sighs> uh, secret passage or something like that. Portal to another dimension. Alright, now we didn't really explore too well in here, I don't think. These old science books date back a long way. Hmm, take one. The books would fall apart if I How can them. you tell? That's such a cop-out, by the way. All right, let's take a look at this again. Is 
there any place that we missed? Oh, there's the garage. We haven't been to the garage yet. Um, and there's also... Okay, we went to the cellar. Uh, I think we've been everywhere. Okay. Well. Fun. Alright, so let's get moving, I guess. Now, in this game, there is the normal world, which we're in right now, I assume. And then there's the dark world. Um, which... It's a calm neighborhood out here. My house seems somehow out of time. A relic of a dark past. Or perhaps a dark future. Man, listen to this derpy... <laughs> 1990s point-and-click PC game music. Alright. I can't remember what I was going to say. The Watchful Eye, Crime by Night! Woodland Hills has recently been struck by an incredible crime wave. Police have no suspects to date, but urge citizens not to stay out too late at night unless with large groups of people. It has been explained to this reporter that police officials and citizens alike are doing everything in their power to round up suspects and blah blah blah. Oh, that's nice of them. They continued it on the next paragraph as well to round up suspects and return stolen properties to the rightful owners. Until the culprits are apprehended, however, it is up to us to make the wise choice and protect ourselves and our properties. This is one reporter who will, for the next few nights, find himself in front of the television. If you can easily avoid a potential danger, why not do so? That's a front page story? You talking about staying at home and now you're gonna be a homebody? That's funny. I guess it's a warning to potential intruders. Can we go over to the garage? Like, really? Go over there. Let's go. Let's explore the town, I guess. Or something. Can I go? The road seems strangely empty and unoccupied. I was expecting you to go to the garage, but this is cool too, I guess. Where are we going? What are we doing? What's happening? Here's an entry to an old cemetery, overgrown with weeds. Perfect, why not go in? Sounds great. Ooh, the Y is gone. These art things give me a sense of foreboding. Oh, do they? Wow. How unusual. How different from everybody else. Okay, let's get inside. This place looks like no one has been around and for a long time. Well, just moved to a new place. Let's dig around the friggin' cemetery. There's no name on this stone. We need to get a shovel, man. The stone feels rough with sharp edges, as though it had just recently been chiseled. I don't know about that, but okay. Or right, let's look at this one first. I think we need to go to the... Oh, you... Oh, it doesn't matter. Es Nostromo. Rest in peace. Oh, we probably have to do some puzzle here. John Campbell. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. Okay. Harcourt Benton Mudd. He was no trouble at all. JTK. What? He was no trouble at all? Sherry Day. Why do you say it like that? Sherry Days. Do you know her? G. Threepwood. Rest in peace. Okay, why is the P capitalized right there? Eh. P, right? And then... I mean, I have no idea. The S is capitalized there, isn't it? What about this one? It looks like P is capitalized, unless it's just how it goes. I have no idea. Damn. Right, we gotta figure this out. 